Hello guys, welcome back to Leo's Animal Planet. Today on Leo's Animal Planet, we're going to be reviewing this book called Real Rewilding. Rewilding is where the plant, where you return plants and animals um, to the place where they used to live. It's like we make sure that there are more animals in the environment. So let's say that the orangutans are endangered, which they are right now, that we could rewild them, which makes them like make the population of orangutans go higher and higher. So this book was written by David A. Steen. It is beautifully illustrated by Chiara Fedele, as you can see right here. Look at the look at the horse. And we learn everything about rewilding and why species disappear. Whether it's over habitat loss, overfishing, overhunting, um take taking like lots of wood away because that could be like a type of animal's home. Climate change for example. That is really bad. The book focuses on rewilding success. There are amazing what rewilding stories in this book. Hopping cranes in the United States, peregrine falcons, giant tortoises in the Galapagos Islands, tiger reproduction in parts of India. It's so brilliant. This book is amazing. Not only it shows that um that animals can do great things for other animals, but it also shows that animals can do stuff for us let's rewild rewild and rewind what i love what i love about this book is that you just come back to it so let's say um outside i came back from school read a bit of it i learned new stuff this rewilding book is out on the 5th of july but you can pre-order it right now I've selected two rewilding amazing stories from the book. Let's start with one from the UK, aka the United Kingdom. This one is about beavers because they, you may think that they're actually doing something bad for the environment by cutting down wood. Actually, they're also doing something good for us, but you're, I'm probably um, there's probably going to be a lot of people shouting at me. Why uh, beavers aren't doing anything for us? Well, yes, they are actually. They are making it so there's less likely. Um, it's less. It's less likely for a flood to happen. Did you know that actually beavers were hunted for extinction 400 years ago? So that's in um. 1623 um, because some people were hunting them for hats and fur coats they reappeared in 2008 in Devon and remember when I was talking to you about rewilding well the beavers were rewilded in 2008 not everybody was happy about it um, well, because farmers and stuff, they, they were concerned about beavers coming back. And the government were like, okay, let's get rid of them. But actually, if we get rid of beavers, our life will be, uh, a lot more people will die. Because we know that they're cutting down wood and bits of trees. But actually, they're doing something good for us. They're stopping the amount of... They're making it less likely for floods to happen. Exeter University found out that actually beavers are doing beavers are doing something so amazing for the environment and they're stopping floods. So the wetlands that the beavers made attracted fish, birds and amphibians, which attracted like brook, lamprey, the teal um dippers and also a water bowl so the government decided to let them stay also if you want to learn more about beavers go to beavertrust.org where you can 
find out more facts about beavers and also help donate money to save them. Let's talk about another really wild thing, success, the Wars of Yellowstone. And the classic is, example is what happened at the Yellowstone um, National Park, where they introduced wolves at 1995. We all are aware that wolves kill various species of animals so they can live. Um, and eat food, but actually they're giving more space to actually give animals more lives. Before the wolves stand up, they have been absent for 70 years. The numbers of deer went up and up and up because there was no way to, nobody was actually hunting them except humans. And because of the deers, they were eating so much uh, of the forest that there was no vegetation left. As soon, but as soon as the wolves arrived, there were very few of them, though there were only like 70, Ugh. and a few packs. Um, they, they had a remarkable effect. They regulated the number of deers around and made their number go a bit more up. But that's not all. They changed the behaviour of the deers as well. Also, uh, their behaviour changed because they didn't go to certain places because they were worried about getting killed. Uh, so actually, nature increased a lot. There were more trees growing, there were more plants. It was so beautiful. And also, as a result, some songbirds, uh, um, in their number increased, and migratory birds increased as well. And also the beavers increased because beavers like to like um, make dams out of wood, because that's what they are made for. And the wolf helps them do that by um, eating some of the deer that eat all the wood. And it created a lot of space for other animals to live, like ducks, amphibians, reptiles. But also, the the wolves killed the the wish-killed coyotes, and with that rabbits and mice population started to grow. And because of mice and rabbits, we saw a lot more animals like weasels hawks and also some badgers and foxes. Ravens and bald eagles came down. We also noticed bears. The wolves also changed the geography of Yellowstone and because there was more trees there was less soil erosion which meant that the river was stronger. Make sure you subscribe and like the video. I really appreciate that we got like over 600 right now. I feel so happy. I feel so proud about myself and my mum who is my editor. I also really appreciate that you subscribe to my channel. So what I think I am gonna do. Next video, I will read you an entire chapter about the Iberian Lakes, which is basically the whole story about it. Um, if we get something, uh, a like goal that's very small, which I know you can, guys can do it. It's just 80 likes, okay? If we get over then 80 likes, I feel happy. If we get 80 likes, we, we get 80 likes and I feel happy. So I, I really want to read to the Iberian Lakes to you because it's such a brilliant story. Um, and I wish you the best of luck from now on. Bye. <laughs> I saluted.